Hey guys, what are we talking about this week? It's Gerbil Week! First, let's figure out what family of animals gerbils belong to. Are gerbils reptiles? Mm, no. Are gerbils amphibians? No, they're not yeah. any frog, dude. No. Are they birds? No, no. Hey, they don't got no. those floppy wings. No. Are they mammals? They yeah. are definitely mammals. Yeah. Definitely mammals. What can you tell me about mammals? Well, they have fur. Yes, and they're mammals. They're mammals, so they have fur. Do they lay eggs? No. 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 What do they do instead? Instead, they have live young. They have live young with no eggs. And what do those young babies drink? Milk. Milk that comes from the mom, just like all mammals. Are you ready to meet our gerbils? This is my gerbil white. He voiced the wheel. This is my dribble black streak. He really just likes to be lazy and just hang out. And like, they both really like to snuggle sometimes. And most of the times we'll find him just like <laughs> standing still up in a tube, just hanging out or in the burrow they made out of their bedding. Who can remember all the way back to the beginning of the year when we talked about observations? Observations are things that we can tell using our senses. Taste, touch, smell, sight, and hearing, and things that can be measured, things that we would all agree on if we saw the same thing, which are different than our feelings or opinions. Let's make some observations. Of his tail, which I think is tremendously cute. So there is a white tip on his tail. What else? He has red or black eyes depending on the light angle, and he's mostly tan and white. Okay, he has a tan and white fur coat. His eyes appear either black or red depending on the light in the room. He has cute tiny ears. He has small ears. How many legs does he walk on? Well, it's kind of a trick question because he does go for a lot. He stands on his two back legs a lot, but he only walks on all four legs. Now we can see both gerbils. Yes. What is something that's different about these two gerbils? They're fur colored big time. Yeah, and um, um, this one has red eyes. This one has black eyes. Very good. Biology means studying living things. And since gerbils are living creatures, when we study them or when we observe them, we're being biologists. Let's make a few more observations. It's hard to tell when he's moving, but black streak measures about eight inches long, counting his tail. And he weighs just over two ounces. We can also make observations about the gerbil's behavior. I'm going to ask Willie and Amos what behaviors they've observed. Amos, could you pick your head up? What do the gerbils like to do in their cage all day? They like to munch on foods. They, they like to snuggle in the burrow. They like to eat and drink. They like they like to do exercise and burrow. They like to <laughs> run around, just have fun, you know. That's most of what I see them doing all day. We live here in the United States. When gerbils live in the wild, they live on the other side of the world, in Mongolia and China and parts of Russia, almost on opposite sides. When they live in the wild, they live in groups in tunnels underground that they make themselves in the desert. Because they live in the desert, they don't drink much water. And because they don't drink much water, you don't need to change your cage as often as you might think.
He's gonna do it. In... Yeah! <laughs> let me try, let me try. <laughs> oh, one went in. One went in, guys. Yes. When you have a pet, it's really important that you learn as much about it as possible first and give that pet everything that it needs to survive and to be happy. What are some things that a gerbil needs in their cage if you're going to keep them for a pet? Water, water, air, air. Water, air. Food. Food. Yeah, exercise wheel. Uh, something to chew on. Yeah, I'll need something to chew You'll on. You'll need wood, and these are just suggestions if you get a dribble and get hypnotized by this video. And they need something to hide in. We did, we cut a milk jug in half, and then we put a little like doorway so that it could go in. That's what we used for a uh, no place for them. And then they also need a buddy. <laughs> or a companion. They need another gerbil in there because they get lonely by themselves. That's called social. That's right, they're social creatures. Yes. Gerbils like to eat fruits and vegetables and grains. Their food looks like this. Sometimes they might even get a raisin for a treat, but only once in a while. See?